everyone, welcome back to Rail Brothers Productions and episode 2 of Metro by the Numbers. Today's video will be discussing the history of Metro 217, from Amtrak days all the way through Virginia Rail Express, all the way to Metro, and also some details on what kind of horn it has and engine parts, where it came from. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So basically, in the 1960s and 70s, passenger railroads were declining and failing and were lo money lost to all the freight railroads. They didn't even want to operate them anymore. So the government stepped in and Amtrak was formed. And during the Amtrak days, they would start to purchase locomotives as their old fleet that they inherited was E and F units from the 1940s and 50s, which were becoming unreliable due to their age. So they went to EMD and purchased a brand new locomotive, the SDP-40X. But if you watched my last video, of course you know what happened to them. They were a complete disaster. So in 1976, they went to EMD again and they built the F40PH, a much more reliable locomotive. These locomotives were very successful. Some of the SDP-40Fs were traded in for F40PH locomotives and were rebuilt into F40PHRs, which were basically using the engine parts and some of the frame from the SDP-40F to build into a new F40PH. This one in particular, SDP-40F number 620, was rebuilt into Amtrak F40PHR 364 and would be put into service in May of 1981. Amtrak Locomotive 364 was equipped with the Nathan K5 LA horn. Here's a sample. Throughout the next 20 years, Amtrak Locomotive 364 would operate on almost all of Amtrak's lines, traveling throughout the country. Eventually, in the 90s, ditch lights were installed on it due to safety regulations requiring all active locomotives to have ditch lights. However, in the late 90s, replacements began coming. The GEP-40s and P-42s were clear that they were replacing the F-40PHs. In the late 90s and early 2000s, the F-40PHs were taken out of service and retired. This one in particular would be taken out of service sometime around 1999 and would enter service around 2003 at Virginia Rail Express and would operate there until 2009 when it would be put in storage with some freight locomotives. In 2015, 364 was purchased by Metro Chicago Railroad and would be rebuilt within the next two years and in 2017, March of 2017 to be specific, it was put into service on the Milwaukee District North, West, and North Central service line. Interesting fact about this locomotive, it is currently, as far as 2022, the only lightning bolt F40PH locomotive on the Milwaukee District lines, as all the other lightning bolt F40s are retained either on the BNSF or Union Pacific lines. Some upgrades that Metro did when they purchased the locomotive was a red and white marker light, and also two red lights on the front of the locomotive for going inbound trains. Also, it was designated as an F40PH-3 instead of an F40PHR. One of the modifications that Metro did to it when they purchased it is that they replaced the horn to a P5. However, for some reason in 2018, the horn was replaced to a K5LA, and then in 2021, it was replaced back to a P5. Here's a sample of both. Today, the legacy of Amtrak 364 still lives on as Metro 217, and Metro 217 will likely operate for a long time, unless of course it burns up like a GE, but hopefully not. 
as this engine is a pretty cool engine. Though as the uh, other F40PHs slowly will probably be repainted into lightning bolt schemes, not too sure how much longer it will be the only F40PH in the lightning bolt scheme on the Milwaukee District lines. But until that time happens, 217 will likely have a long service life.